First, I want to address myself the question of whether when we expand the definition of a political party, that infringes on the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, I would want to advise those who are arguing like that to look at Article 92 and see that we were required to bring clarity in terms of defining what a political party means. So that is number one, Mr. Speaker. Number two, those who are complaining about this bill, I don't know whether they have taken time to read it and understand the provisions of Clause 13, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, under Clause 13, you will realize that presently, if for whatever reason, registrar deregisters or suspends a political party, Mr. Speaker, the only people who are saved is a member of parliament and members of county assemblies. The president, if elected on that party that is being deregistered, or the deputy president are not protected. So, Mr. Speaker, the provisions of under clause 13 now protects also the president and the deputy president and even the governors. Anybody elected on a political party that has been deregistered or suspended would continue serving in the office, something that is not keyword in the current law as we have it today. Mr. Speaker, those of us who are making noise about these amendments should understand that there is no process of disciplining, uh, disciplining a party member as it is today. This law provides a clear mechanism and details on how due process of disciplining a member will be taken. And it is of benefit to some of us who are making noise here, Mr. Speaker, because we require, we require, because Mr. Speaker, we require this law, we require this law to be clear on what process would be followed, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my second last remark is as follows. Mr. Speaker, as it is today, the political party's funds, there is no clear provision on how to divide it to parties which form coalition. And Mr. Speaker, looking forward, Mr. Speaker, how I wish, how I wish, how I wish that those members of parliament, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, these members, if they are the numbers, we have been told about 150 members supporting a particular cause. Mr. Speaker, you can see when we come to the floor of this house, the members are hardly 20, and that is why they are making noise, because they know they don't have the capacity, they don't have the numbers, they, have, they don't have even intellectual capacity to argue their case, and therefore, they will continue making noise. Mr. Speaker, if you, look, if you look at the provisions of this bill, Mr. Speaker, it is clear that now even those political parties which don't have the numbers in the House but have elected leaders will benefit from political parties' funds. So, Mr. Speaker, let me just conclude. That, Mr. Speaker, my colleagues on the other side of the political divide who have been boasting of numbers in the streets, who have been talking of 150 members. Today, we want to see where are those 150 members. So instead of making noise, instead of shouting, like Alice Wahome is shouting as if she's in a marketplace, Alice Wahome should tell us where there are 150 members that they have been boasting around that they have 150 members, and they have only 20, 25 members. Okay. If you are, don't have numbers, don't waste our time. Don't waste our time. We have come here to debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I Honorable support. Dr. Honorable Dr. Pukose. Dr. Pukose. Dr. Pukose. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to...